Welcome to Anywhere Math. I'm Jeff Jacobson, and today we're going to talk about finding the surface area of prisms and pyramids. Let's get started. Today we're going to learn how to find the surface area of prisms and pyramids. And to do that, it's fairly simple. All you do is find the sum of the areas of all of the faces, and that's it. That's your surface area. You just add up the areas of every individual face. Okay. Um, so let's look at our first example and get started. Example one, let's find the surface area of this rectangular prism. Now to start off, uh, I'm going to show you how to find the area uh, the surface area of this prism using a net. And a net is just a 2D, two-dimensional representation of a 3D solid. That's all it is. Okay. So basically you can think of we're gonna kind of cut this and like unfold it. That's basically what you're doing to, to make a net. Fold down this back. I'm just gonna fold it down. So that'll be like that. Okay. Well, then I've got, I still have this very bottom that that's going to be connected to. There's my bottom. Uh, I'm going to fold down this front, fold it down. So this, maybe I'll make a little note. This was the back. That was the bottom. Now I'm going to fold down the front. Okay. That's going to be my front. Okay. I'm going to fold down the side. Uh, that's going to be a little bit skinnier, another rectangle. There's that side. I'm going to do the same thing here on that side. And last but not least, and this is the, the one thing that a lot of people forget when they're making the net is the top. And if you remember that, that's great. Uh, you can either put it on this side or this side kind of like it folds all the way over. I'll just go ahead, I'll put it over here. That's going to be the same size as the bottom. So do your best. Obviously it's not going to be perfect, but that's okay. So that is the top. Okay. Um, so there's my net, but I'm missing something. Hopefully you notice that I don't have any of my lengths in there. So let's add that. Uh, this length here, is the same as here, right? Been folded up, or you can think of the front folded up. That was the kind of the height of my front and back. So that's going to be here. So I'm going to label that three inches. This is also three inches, three inches, three inches, right? Um, let's see, what else? Well, this length here, four inches, right? That's the same here, four, four, four. So maybe I'll just put it there. That'd be easy. Uh, the length going back on my side here was seven inches. So that's here, seven inches, seven inches, seven inches, all of those going along. Maybe I'll put it here, seven inches. Okay. Um, and that's, that's good enough, right? So with this now, hopefully it's making a little bit more sense and looking a little bit easier on how to find the area. Um, now that it's 2D, right? We just have a whole bunch of rectangles and we know how to find the area of that. So uh, back in front, kind of the key with this is to be organized. Um, so I'll just say uh, back and front. Well, three times four is 12, but I've got two of them, the back and the front. So that's going to give me uh, 24. Uh, let's do this two. Whoops. Let's do the two sides. Okay. I've got these two sides here, side and side. Well, uh, that's going to be three. I'm sorry. I'm missing a. Yeah, that's going to be three. This is also three. I'll just put that there. Three and three. Uh, three times seven is twenty-one. Times two, two sides that are the same. They're congruent. Twenty-one and twenty-one is got too many pens. Uh, 42. Then I've got my top and bottom. Okay. Uh, the bottom, 4 times 7 
will give me 28. 28 times 2, because there's top and bottom, they're both congruent, is 56. And remember, surface area is just the sum of all of the faces. So my last step is just to add all of those up. Okay. And if I do that, let's see, 56 and 24 is 60, 80 plus 42 is 122. So maybe I'll write, let's see, I'll put it up here. SA for surface area is 122. And at the end, I got to remember my units, inches, but it's area, so it's inches squared for my final answer. Okay. So that's how you find the area, sorry, the surface area of a rectangular prism using a net. Okay. Here's some to try on your own. All right, example two. Let's find the surface area of this triangular prism. Um, so we're going to do it using a net again. When you're making the nets, there's not just one way to make the net. It all depends on how you want to fold it out and, you know, one way or the other. It doesn't matter. Um, so if you make your net a little bit different than mine, that's okay, as long as you're getting the same result. We've got a bottom rectangle right there. That's the bottom. Yeah, you can see that. And really, I think it helps a lot if you label, right? It can get very confusing. So my suggestion is to label just like I'm doing here. So this is going to fold out, and it's going to look something like that. This is going to fold forward. It's going to look something like that. Uh, so that's going to be the back. That's going to be the front. Uh, then we have this side here. Um, is kind of small. That's something like that, the side. Uh, and then again, the one that a lot of people forget, the top, I'm going to fold it the other way. Um, and it should be a lot longer than this. But I don't have a lot of room, so just bear with me. That's going to be the top. Now let's add our lengths in there. So let's see. Uh, here, 12 centimeters. Uh, eight centimeters here on this side, eight centimeters, five centimeters is here, the height there, five centimeters. It's also here, even though it doesn't look like it, my drawing, my net's not perfect. Uh, 13 centimeters along there, okay? And that's also five centimeters. That's also five centimeters, that's fine. Um, let's see, the top, uh, we've got eight there. Um, let's see, what else? This length here is also 13 centimeters. And I mentioned that, right? It's not, it should be longer, but oh well. Okay. So now I think we're ready. Now here, it's not going to be quite as simple as the prism because we don't have, I mean, some of our shapes are doubled, right? The back and the front are the same, but top, bottom, side, they're not the same. So you can't just multiply it by three. So just be careful on that. Uh, let's start with the back and the front. Finding the area of a triangle. Remember, base times height divided by two. But because I have two of them, I'm not going to divide by two because I could divide it by two and then do the same thing, add them together, and I'd have a whole. So I'm just going to do base times height and not divide it by two. And that'll give me the two triangles. Uh, so that's going to be, let's see, base times height, 12 times 5. Remember, this is not the height of the triangle, right? Height, the base and the height have to be perpendicular. So 12 times 5 is 60. Again, I could divide by 2, and that would be 30. But I've got two of them, so 30 and 30 gives me 60 again. So there's my front and back. Uh, let's go with the side. Uh, 5 times 8 is 40. That's simple. The bottom. The bottom's going to be 12 times 8. That's what? 96. Uh, and finally, the top is going to be 13 times 8. Let's see. Top. 13 times 8. Uh, what's that going to be? 80. 104. 104. Yeah. 
Uh, and finally, for surface area, it's the sum of all of those faces. So I'm going to add them all up. And my surface area, let's see, that's two, 200, right? 300, sorry. 300. Uh, and now I got to remember units, centimeters, but it's area. So 300 centimeters squared for my final answer. Here's some more to try on your own. Example three, we have a square pyramid. We've already done a couple prisms. Now let's move on to pyramids. Same thing, find the surface area. Uh, let's make a net. So first thing, it's a square pyramid. So my base is a square. That's going to be simple. Oh, sorry, I'll get a different color. There's my square. Uh, all the sides, you should know all the sides of a pyramid are going to be triangles. Uh, so, and because it's a square, they're all going to be the same. They're all going to be congruent. So I'll have a triangle there. When I fold down that back, I'll have a triangle on this side. When I fold that one over, triangle down here. When I fold the front down and this side, fold it over, will give me a triangle there. Okay. Now let's add in some, some length. So that's going to be seven meters, seven meters, seven meters, seven meters. It's a square. Um, now here, this 10 meters, that notice it's on the, it's on the surface of the triangle itself. It's not inside. It's not the height of the pyramid, right? The height would be coming from the base all the way to that vertex at the top. Uh, instead, it's the height of the triangle here. It's on this slant. It's called the slant height. Okay. And when we start to do volume of pyramids, then that's really important to know that compared to the height of the pyramid. Um, but we have that because we need it to find surface area. So that is the height here of the triangles, right? The faces, those triangles. So that's going to be what? 10 meters. Okay. So now we have everything we need to find the surface area. So let's go ahead. Uh, I'll just start with the base. That's the simplest. The base, seven times, remember this is a square. So I'll put a seven there, seven meters. Seven times seven is 49. So the area of my base is 49. Um, now the area of one of my triangles would be seven, the base, times that height, seven times 10 is 70, divided by two, because it's a triangle, but we have four of them. So if you think about it, this and this would be a whole, that and that would be a whole. So instead of dividing by two, so here are my, I mean, if you want, you can find the, the area of each one. I'm just kind of showing you a shortcut. So I'm going to call these the sides. So that would be 7 times 10 is 70. Divided by 2 would be 35. But then I'd have to multiply it by 4, right? Multiply by 4 would divide by 2. So that would be the same thing as just multiplying that by 2, which is 140. Okay? And if, if you're not following, uh, just do it the long way, and you should notice that would be 35, 35, which is 70. 35 and 35 is 70, 70 and 70 is 140, okay? Uh, and finally, surface area, add it all up. 140 plus 49 is 189. Units will be meters squared. Here's an example to try on your own. Thank you so much for watching, and if you like this video, please subscribe.